His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the father of the Emir of the State of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, in which he was assured of his health and congratulated him on the successful operation he had undergone. His Majesty wished him abundant good health and hailed the brotherly consolidated ties between Bahrain and Qatar. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today cultural, media, religious and intellectual figures and scores of citizens. He stressed the need to study current political, economic and security conditions and enhance unity and cohesion to overcome regional challenges and achieve further progress for Bahrain. His Royal Highness stressed that Bahrain's unity is the source of its strength. He stressed the need for more awareness against attempts to cause unrest between the people of Bahrain. He affirmed that the people of Bahrain are the top priority despite problems faced by the country. He lauded the role of the people of Bahrain and their ability to overcome challenges and their efforts to make more achievements. He stressed that Bahrain's security is the government's top priority and that Bahrainis should exert more efforts to maintain security and stability in order to achieve more gains for the forward march of Bahrain under the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that the government will continue working on diversifying sources of income and strengthening the trends towards industrial investment and tourism sectors with growing economic returns that give Bahrain an attractive investment position in the region. He pointed out that decreasing oil prices requires reviewing the fiscal policy to overcome negative outcomes. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the role of journalists and columnists in highlighting the issues of the country and expressed his keenness to read their ideas and analysis that contribute in making more achievements for the country. He called on journalists and columnists to document their work for the next generations to show the progress of Bahrain on various levels, as well as highlight Bahraini's efforts to protect security and stability.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa patronized today the graduation ceremony of the 8th batch of cadets of the Royal Police Academy. Accompanied by his sons, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince was welcomed upon arrival to the Academy by the Interior Minister, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and senior officials. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince confirmed the vital role of the Interior Ministry in preserving the security of the Kingdom and its people in accordance to the highest level of professionalism and police international standards. He highlighted His Majesty the King's support to developing the security fields and noted the role of the Royal Police Academy in polishing the skills of the Ministry's officers and employees. The graduation ceremony then opened with the national anthem. زادوا سموكم بتفقد طابور الخريجين سيد His Royal Highness the Crown Prince then inspected the graduating cadets.
Then the graduates performed the parade, after which they took the oath of allegiance.
اقسم بالله العظيم اقسم بالله العظيم اقسم بالله العظيم ان اكون وفيا للبحرين امينا على حقوقها مخلصا لمليكها المفدى مطيعا لجميع الاوامر الحقه التي تصدر الي من رؤسائي محافظا على شرفي وسلاحي مؤديا اعمال وظيفتي بالصدق والامانه محترما قوانين البلاد وحقوق الناس والله على ما اقول شهيد صاحب السمو الملكي راعي الحفل حفظه الله ورعاه بتكريم المتفوقين وهم الأول في المجموع العام التلميذ العسكري Ali Mahmoud Muhammad al-Siddiqui. Then His Royal Highness the Crown Prince honored the outstanding graduates. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted the tremendous efforts and dedication of the Interior Ministry's affiliates, led by the Interior Minister, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah al-Khalifa, in performing the national duty and in maintaining peace and security in the kingdom. His Royal Highness also expressed his appreciation to the Interior Ministry and its affiliates for their notable efforts in training and developing national staff as well as its major role in maintaining the peace and security of the homeland. He highlighted the ministry's keenness to communicate with the society to reinforce the rule of law and order and highlighted the role of independent legal institutions in the kingdom. He also valued the sacrifices of policemen and dedication to preserve the security of the people and recalled the martyrs of Bahrain who gave their souls to justice, stressing the appreciation of His Majesty the King and the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness congratulated the graduates on their dedication in performing their national duty and on their efforts to protect national achievements under the reform project of His Majesty the King. He also praised the graduates' outstanding performance and urged them to exert every effort to serve the kingdom. For his part, the Interior Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for their support to the Interior Ministry to perform its duty and responsibilities. Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah also expressed gratitude and pride in the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of the event. He also noted the importance of improving policing capabilities, developing training and ensuring the readiness of the Ministry in light of the ongoing security threats. جائزة التربية البدنية وقد حصل عليها التلميذ العسكري طارق عبد الرحمن عبد الله بشليبي وبهذه المناسبة السعيدة يتشرف سيدي معالي وزير الداخلية بتقديم هدية تذكارية لراعي الحفل حفظه الله ورعاه On the occasion, the commander of the Royal Academy of Police, Colonel Dr. Sheikh Hamid bin Muhammad al-Khalifa, addressed the ceremony in which he emphasized
the importance of high-quality training so that officers can meet the challenges faced in their future careers, and stressed the importance of exchanging expertise, and noted that this year's batch of candidate officers includes officers from Kuwait and Jordan. دعمكم ومؤازرتكم الدائمة لرجال الأمن وتقدير عطائهم والإشادة بدورهم ومما يدعو إلى الفخر والاعتزاز أن يأتي احتفالنا اليوم ونحن نعيش أجواء العيد الوطني المجيد وذكرى تولي سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك المفدى مقاليد الحكم ويوم الشرطة وذكرى يوم الشهيد وهي مناسبات وطنية عزيزة عبر فيها أبناء البحرين عن التفافهم حول قيادة سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه مؤكدين على فخرهم واعتزازهم بالإنجازات الوطنية التي تحققت في عهد جلالته الزاهر A number of senior officers at the Ministry of the Interior and the faculty of the Royal Police Academy greeted His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and thanked him for his patronage and his directive to further develop the security field.
After that, the Minister of Interior distributed the certificates to the graduates and, congr and rather congratulated them on their success in joining the police force to preserve the kingdom's security. He commended their good efforts, which will be reflected in their performance, wishing them success in performing their duties. The Deputy Prime Minister and Head of the Ministerial Committee for Construction and Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, inaugurated today the project of establishing Elba and Oidrat conjunctions. The Deputy Prime Minister affirmed that the upcoming phase would witness huge developments regarding the Kingdom's infrastructure. He also said that this project reflects the government's commitment to develop infrastructure in addition to implementing new highway projects that aim to secure the traffic flow and safety of drivers. The Bahrain Defense Force General Command issued a statement today announcing the martyrdom of three military officers who were taking part in their national duty alongside the Arab, rather the Saudi-led Arab coalition. The martyrs are Captain Ahmed Mohammed Amin, Captain Mubarak Saad Ramihi, and Hassan Ali Iskandar, who were martyred in an accident in the southern borders of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The BDF General Command offered condolences and sympathy to the families of the martyrs and wished a speedy recovery to the injured. The fourth edition of the Bahrain Farmers Market is open at the Bodea Gardens every Saturday, which aims to contribute to improving the Bahraini farmers' income through a marketing system prepared by the Agriculture and Marine Resources to assist in meeting the farmers' aspirations. More in this report. Bahrain's season of farmers' market has been attracting thousands of visitors keen to try produce from over 35 farms from across the country. Organizers say that new fashions in food, in addition to the increased awareness of healthy eating, are encouraging more people to visit the market. We're just here to buy some vegetables, uh, which is more fresh and uh, I think more cheaper than the outside market. Uh, the weather is so nice and we have a lot of entertainment as well. So we enjoy it with the family. The event aims to promote local agricultural products and highlight advances taking place in Bahrain's agriculture sector, aligned with the directives of Her Royal Highness Wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Consultative Council of the National Initiative for Agricultural Development, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, to support Bahraini farmers in order to achieve self-sufficiency in vegetables, fruits, and agriculture products, as well as increase business opportunities for Bahraini farmers. Families are able to take advantage of an on-site animal farm and live music entertainment at the venue as the market will be running every Saturday until the end of April 2016. 
And before we end the news, here's a reminder of our top stories. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlights the necessity of reviewing the political, economic and security situation and reinforcing national unity. And His Royal Highness the Crown Prince patronizes the graduation ceremony of the 8th batch of the Royal Police Academy and commends the Interior Ministry's role in preserving the security of the Kingdom.